Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 23rd, and right now we're looking at the combination Doppler radar. As you can see, some light precip across southern portions of Nevada, better chances across Arizona, general thunderstorm risk kind of shown in this green circle out there. But the main story from this just kind of being the increase in relative humidity and some of the cloud cover up and over the area. These bases are pretty high, about 12,000 feet. So a lot of this is falling as Virga across eastern California and up in towards Las Vegas. Even a little bit of light rain is being reported across Las Vegas as we speak. This is the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see those clouds moving up and over the region here. No lightning strikes just yet, but there is a thunderstorm threat here across some of northern Arizona as we go through the day today. And out looking across the Pacific Ocean here, check out this atmospheric river. This is going to be pointed at the Pacific Northwest. It's going to impact portions of Northern California as well. A little bit of a downtrend here in some of the precipitation making it in there. But what we need it to do is to extinguish some of these forest fires. And it looks like it might be enough rain to do that. We'll take a look at that here in a moment. This is off in the tropics down there, southwest of Baja. 70% chance of cyclone formation in the next 48 hours. But the moisture from this is not expected to impact the southwest USA as of right now. Few showers today and tonight. Nice graphic here from the National Weather Service, Las Vegas. And again, mainly the cloud covering the relative humidity bump being the big impact from this for portions of California and Nevada. But you have a stronger chance here of some precipitation across Arizona. As you can see, Kingman. 55% there for more than a sprinkle, generally about a tenth of an inch, however. Now looking at Las Vegas, you can see it's reporting vicinity shower and some showers to the distant east and southwest. But look at Henderson actually putting a little bit of light rain out of this as well. And you can kind of see where Henderson is versus Las Vegas and the California Nevada border would be right there. So looking at gusty sundown or winds here for southern Santa Barbara County, National Weather Service, Los Angeles. Great graphic here showing elevated fire conditions possible as we go Monday night through Wednesday with some gusts to 50 miles per hour. These winds come out of the northwest and they're kind of a compression wind there as they roll over the hills there and bring some low relative humidities with them. We'll show you that weather map here in a moment. And also some strong early season winds for places like Shelter Cove north along the coast, Crescent City, some of the higher terrain as well could get up towards 60 miles per hour as this atmospheric river rolls across the area. Now this is looking at the 100 meter wind speed. Put it into motion, you'll see the atmospheric river approaching and that's when the stronger winds are supposed to come in about Sunday night, early Monday morning across Northern California. We get kind of a dry front there, moves down across Southern California and that's what's gonna bring those sundowner winds mainly Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Now on this day in SoCal weather history, Moisture from remnants, Hurricane Norma, and again, a big headline maker, usually old tropical systems moving back up over the area. You can see a bunch of power outages reported from damage from lightning strikes and several small fires. Knocked power out to 200,000 customers here. And check this out in 2002, dense fog actually. Had this boat, make, you know, it lost its way in the fog and ran aground on the rocks there in the entrance of San Diego Bay, and then it was destroyed by breaking waves. So interesting stuff there back in 2002. If you want a nice affordable home weather station, check it out. Save 10% below by clicking on that link. And uh, I'm going to give one of these away this morning. In fact, I'll just announce it right now. It's Ann Shepard. So you are a member of this channel. Go ahead and email me and I will get this sent out to you. Congratulations on winning the weather station giveaway. So rain forecast, downtrending a little bit. Like I mentioned here for Redding, California, Weaverville, Eureka, between one to two inches here. Not much precipitation expected down towards Sacramento or San Francisco here. So you're not going to get a big rainy day out of this, but this could really help with some of that forest fire activity up there. And this is looking at the European total precipitation in inches. This is this morning's run. This is hot off the presses. You can see this precip moving across mainly northern Arizona. Then the atmospheric river starts rolling in as we go through early Monday morning across the area. Still some big mounts amount across some of the coastal areas, the higher terrain, the coastal range there and right along the coastal areas. So yeah, hopefully this can help put out some of that forest fire activity up there, even though it's kind of been downtrending as we've been going over the last couple of days. It's kind of a shame. GFS showing something similar there as well. You'll notice not much for the Bay Area or for Sacramento here, but some of the higher terrain here of Northern California is going to be bullseye as well as the coastal areas. Now, this is looking at the precipitable water. So this shows a great visual diagram or a visual representation of that atmospheric river. Look at this low pressure system just bomb out off the Pacific Northwest. Atmospheric river into the Pacific Northwest, and there it comes crossing into California as we go through the day Monday. So hopefully we can get those fires put out here. And this weekends quite rapidly as it moves down the coastline. And then you can kind of see a it just is a dry front by the time it gets to Southern California and bringing some of those increased gusty uh, Northwest winds. Now, this is um, yesterday afternoon's European control run. In fact, let's just go ahead and show 
the 12Z run because this one is coming in hot here and we can kind of see that deep trough over the Pacific Northwest atmospheric river there. And then we get some kind of secondary system rolling right into the northwest tip of Washington here. Hopefully some of this precip can continue to impact Northern California. We'll be watching that one here over the next few days. And then you can kind of see this trough settle down across some of Northern California and Nevada. Looking a little bit out here, though, we're at 150 plus hours at this point. So we'll watch this system as well. And then kind of a ridge building in the extended forecast there for Pacific Northwest. We'll see how that will impact much of the Southwest USA as we go over the next couple of days. San Francisco, last night's European, not showing much, just barely measurable precipitation there. Redding kind of downtrending as well. The control was down just below a tenth of an inch there. Some of the mean showing about three tenths of an inch. Better chances the further you go off to the northwest here, as you can see for Eureka, still showing over an inch in a 24-hour period. Red Bluff kind of downtrended there as well. The mean down towards two-tenths of an inch, the control even less. Now, looking at the national blend of models, you can see that we've got some nice seasonable weather. I mean, we're at least going to be getting out of those big 100, 110-plus readings across a lot of the southwest here. And look at the valley. I mean, that's some nice weather incoming here towards the end of September into early October. Very pleasant temperatures across much of the region. Six to 10 day outlook all the way through October 1st here, kind of seasonably cool along the West Coast. Six to 10 day precipitation outlook. Hopefully we can continue to bring some of that precip into Northern California through the early portion of October. Below average signal here across Arizona. But yeah, so anyway, Ann Shepard, please contact me. Um, I will go ahead and do my Pacific Northwest briefing here next, getting a late start this morning, but I will get that out as soon as I'm done with this one. Lots to talk about up there with that huge storm impacting things. But anyway, I hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe. Um, we'll do the normal briefings tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.